Alan, look, it's all TBC, Alan, but I need that sales report by COB. Yeah, and I need you to remind them that it's 50% or it's nothing. Yeah, okay, bye. <sighs> Feeling stressed? You need office yoga. Hi everyone and welcome to another Virtuous Quickie. Now today I'm going to be taking you through a very short yoga sequence that you can do in the office. This is a highly requested video and I want this to be used when you have five minutes, you can sneak off into a meeting room and get your yoga on. How we're gonna start is obviously without the blazer. So place it nicely on the chair, take your heels off or your shoes off and just place them neatly over to one side, just in case someone opens the meeting room door and you don't wanna be like kind of all, you know, thrown over the floor, right? So keep it neat. I mean, if, I would suggest locking the meeting room door actually because I'm gonna get you in some slightly strange positions and I don't think you want your boss walking in, especially not in a pencil skirt. Okay, so the first part of the sequence, we're gonna use a chair. So just come and sit down. Let's tune into the breath. So just place your hands onto your thighs or you can turn the palms face up. I want you to be sitting nice and tall. Let's close the eyes, take a deep breath in and release a full breath out. Again, inhale and exhale. So just keep working with that breath. If you've been really stressed in the office, if you've got a lot of deadlines to hit today, you're gonna to need to calm that nervous system down in order to actually get the most from this yoga practice. So I just want you to continue to breathe deeply and fully. Feel your shoulders relax as you exhale. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand. And then exhale, completely feel the rib cage depress. So we want it all to deflate, deflate, deflate. Let the shoulders relax and sort of sink into your chair a little bit. Face relaxes, legs and hips relax as well. Let's take another deep breath in. And then exhale. I want you to keep that breath nice and slow and nice and consistent the whole way through. So what we're gonna do is come into a neck stretch. I want you to grab the side of the chair, drop your head over to the side, feel this nice opening through the side of the neck and into the shoulder. You're gonna take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, just gently let the head fall over to the side, right? We're holding onto the chair to create a little bit of resistance, a little bit of pull, right? So that we feel that full stretch. We're gonna to go to the other side in a sec. I wanna take one more deep breath in and a full breath out. Okay, bring it back up to center, other side. Left hand grabs hold of the side of the chair, keeping the chest lifted so we get that nice elongation of the spine. Drop the ear over to the right side and gently start to pull into this. So from the front, that looks a little bit like this. We're pulling to the side and dropping the head over, yeah? That hand creates the resistance so that you get the stretch. The breath is key, okay? Without the breath, this just becomes a stretch. Right? We actually want it to be yoga and yoga is all about linking in the breath so that we facilitate a better release of the muscles. So together, inhale and exhale, fully relax, go a little bit deeper into the stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Okay, next. Pose, we're gonna take a twist, just a really easy gentle twist. What I love about doing it in a chair is that your sacrum is pressed against here, your hips, so you can't cheat. You're gonna twist around to the right. Use your left hand to grab hold of the chair. The right hand grabs wherever you feel you can. You'll get a stretch for the chest and shoulder as well. Now by keeping your hips square, you'll notice that you actually can't cheat in this. If I was to sit away, I would be able to move my hips so that I could get around a little bit more, right? But actually being able to keep your hips nice and square in the chair is gonna help you get a deeper twist and will help you release the back and the chest a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. As you inhale, you'll find it harder to be in the twist. As you exhale, you'll go a little bit further into it. Inhale and exhale, twist a little bit deeper. We're gonna take one more breath. Inhale, exhale. All right, bring it back to center. Let's take it to the other side. So we're coming over 
So that right hand is going to grab hold of the chair, left hand grabs hold as well, twisting around. Ooh, I'm a little bit more stiff on this side. So inhale and exhale, twist. And you'll find that your body is a little bit like that. Yeah, there's, we're, we are not symmetrical beings. Inhale and exhale. And that is totally okay. Inhale and exhale. Bring it back to center. We're going to stretch to the side body. Okay, so staying in the chair, you're just going to place the right hand down to keep a little bit of stability. Left arm is going to come up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach up, and then take it over to the side as far as you feel you can go. Now, one thing I want you to be really careful of is that as you reach over to the side, you're not lifting the left butt cheek off the chair. Okay, so we stay grounded, firmly planted, and we just reach it over to the side. Another thing I want you to be really careful of here is that we're not kind of over flaring through the rib cage and you're also not tipping down. I want you to really get that sort of side, straight side angle up and over and you'll feel that full line from the pinky finger of fascia, right? The kind of cling wrap that wraps around your muscles, releasing all the way through right down into the lat, through the shoulder and all the way down into your QL, maybe your obliques a little bit as well. Stretch it over. Bring it back up to center. We'll take it to the other side, okay? So reach it up, follow that line, inhale. Use the other hand for support. Exhale, don't let your right butt cheek come off the floor. Relax the right shoulder so that your neck stays long. We're breathing in. Exhale, getting into that side body. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale. Really long exhale. Bring it back up. Okay, perfect. From here, let's stand up. Adjust your skirt. I'm gonna move this back ever so slightly. I'm just gonna take a really casual forward fold here, okay? But what I'm gonna get you to do is interlace the fingers at the back of the neck, lift up through the chest, inhale, and then exhale, bring the chin to the chest, begin to roll down very slowly. So we're gonna roll down and stretch one vertebra at a time, releasing all the way down. Bend at the knees so that the hamstrings don't pull too tight. Begin to release all the way forward. Now, if you're super tight through the hamstrings, you'll find that you're maybe only getting to here. I want you to bend your knees more. So that takes the pressure off the hamstrings and then we can allow the hip to release that tiny bit more, yeah? Drop the head and release forward. If you feel like you've got a little bit more give, go ahead, straighten the legs. Take hold of either elbow and just shake out your head yes and no, back of the neck releases. Just releasing the cervical spine. What I love about this position, and this position in yoga is called ragdoll, is that we are decompressing the lower spine. Yeah, if you've spent all day at your desk like this, stay in the pose, I'm just explaining. If you've spent all day in your desk like this, there's all this compression, gravity's pulling all this compression into your hips, your lower back, right? Everything's getting really sore and tight and heavy and pressed. Now, as soon as you come into a position like this, gravity is now suddenly pulling us the other way and that's what we want, right? We want all of that gravitational pull to separate the vertebra, take the pressure off the lower back and release, yeah? Shake out that head. Okay, releasing now, we're gonna unroll all the way back up to standing, really slowly, one vertebra at a time, and then your head lifts. We're gonna bring the palms together, take the hands together, interlace all 10 fingers except for your index, cross your thumbs. You're gonna take the arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and exhale, we're going through the side body again. So from the front, that looks like this, right hand is gonna come down, take it up and over maybe leaning into your chair or just place your hand onto your thigh. I like the lean into the chest. So you don't have to work so hard. I push into the fingertips. My hip moves to the left. I'm reaching over. Now we're getting this full side stretch through the side of the body. Again, this is a really neglected kind of area. We always think of folding forward and bending back, but we forget about the side. Bring it back up to center. Inhale, exhale, relax the shoulders. I'm going to turn around. We'll do it the other way. So interlace all 10 fingers, reach it up, inhale, squeeze up and out, and then take it down. Use the chair to help you push the hips over to the side when we're reaching. Take a deep breath in, release a full breath out. Inhale and exhale. Good. Bring it back up. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. 
Okay, the last area that I really want to stretch using the chair is through the front of the hips. And this is really key for me because if you've spent a lot of time sitting at your desk like this, your hip flexors are getting tight. A lot of people think their hips are tight just because their glutes are tight, but it actually has a lot to do with what's going on in the front. If you have very tight hamstrings, sometimes it can be because these guys at the front are really, really tight all the time from this kind of positioning. So I want to open this right out and we're going to use the chairs to do it. So moving the chair. Obviously, if you have one of those massive chairs with a um, where the back of it comes up nice and high like that, you're gonna to struggle to do this. If that's the case, you can put your foot up on the wall. So not wearing any shoes, I'm gonna actually hook my foot up on the chair like this, use one hand on the wall, and just start to tuck my tailbone, okay? If you're doing it against the wall, you're like this. Yeah, and you're just pushing the foot into the wall like that, okay? I'm using the chair so that you can really see this happen. And from here, I'm gonna take that left arm up and reach over to the side again. We're really working on that side body, but we're helping the hip flexor to open right up. Tuck your tailbone a lot. You might feel a stretch through the front of your quad here. Yeah, through your quad. Okay, muscle at the front of the leg. This is really key. And again, we tend to neglect this area. Breathe in and exhale. Bring it back up to center. We'll change sides. Releasing, get that other foot up, hook it, tuck the tailbone. Sometimes this one takes a little bit of time to kick in, like I can actually feel that my right side is a little bit tighter than my left in the quad. So I'm feeling this in a totally different place. Right now I'm feeling it down a little bit lower rather than in the front of the hip, whereas on the left side I was feeling it at the front of the hip. Pay attention to these little imbalances that you might have, yeah? Okay, so from here, one hand on the hip, other hand comes up and over, reach it. Make sure that your butt doesn't go back when you do this because you're gonna lose that stretch. The whole point is to open the front of the hips to get extension. So keep the hips forward as you reach over to the side. One more breath in, full breath out. Okay, bring it back up to center. Really sit down to the floor. Now I'm gonna get you to move your chair, assuming you have the space in a tiny little meeting room. And what we're gonna do, don't break your glasses in the process, is a sun salutation, okay? And this is the last final aspect of this practice that I'm gonna take you through. The great thing about a sun salute is that you can totally do it in a pencil skirt. I'm gonna show you how. So, <clears throat> you're gonna come into a downward facing dog position. So bend at your knees, take your hands to the floor, releasing down. If you're super tight through the hamstrings, feel free to bend the knees. Otherwise, if you're a little bit looser through the backs of the legs, go ahead and straighten. So we're just going to walk out through the heels here. So what we're doing is bending and straightening opposite legs at a time. Yeah, hands are shoulder distance apart. Shake out the head, yes and no. And watch that rib cage for those of you that are hypermobile. We don't want to be over flexing, pull the belly in. From here, I'm going to come forward into a push up position. Yeah, belly pulls in, tailbone tucks. If you want to, drop the knees down to the floor. Keep the elbows in nice and close to the body. We're going to lower down. From here, I'm gonna lift my chest off the floor into what's called Cobra. And this is activating all those kind of anti-technology muscles, I call them, which are the ones that keep you upright rather than hunched over your phone or your laptop or your desk, yeah? So lifting through the upper back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, okay? If you want to, you can take upward facing dog. You have to push your knees, hips and thighs off the floor. This is a little bit more advanced. Yeah, exhale, we're gonna press back, downward facing dog, bend at the knees, back of the neck releases. That in yoga is called the vinyasa. Let's do it again. Inhale forward, exhale down. Inhale lift, and exhale back. Bend your knees, look forward, walk the feet up to the hands. Hands onto the shins, halfway lift. So inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, bend at the knees, grab the back of the legs, hug in. Bring it up to standing, inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, bring the hands back to the heart, relax the shoulders. We're gonna do three rounds together and then that is it. You can get back to your deadlines, okay? So feet together, I want you to remember, yoga is about sinking the breath up with the movement that we're doing so it becomes a moving meditation rather than just a stretch, 
okay? So, hands together if you really want to feel really chill when you get back to your desk, calm, capable, but energized, we need to get into the breath and link it with that movement. So, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bend at the knees, drop forward. Hands onto shins, inhale. Halfway lift. Hands down to the floor, step back into a push-up position and now exhale all the way out. Maybe keeping the knees off the floor if you want. Inhale, either cobra or upward facing dog, knees, hips and thighs off. Exhale, downward facing dog, pressing back. Two breaths here for me. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Bend your knees, look forward. Walk the feet up to the hands. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Inhale. Grab the back of the legs, exhale, stretch. Bring it up to standing, inhale, arms reach up. Second round, exhale, drop it down. Remember the breath, guys. Inhale, halfway. Hold that inhale, hands come down to the floor, step back to push up, belly in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, either cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, press it back. Two breaths, inhale, close your eyes for me, exhale, inhale, and full exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, walk the feet up to the hands, halfway lift here, inhale, grab the back of the legs, exhale. Take it up to standing, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come back to the heart, bow forward. Last round, guys. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward and lengthen. Hold the breath, plant the palms, step it back into push-up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, soften a little, relax the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out, control the breath guys. If you're feeling a little bit puffed already, you wanna take control, nourish the body with an inhale and release all that carbon dioxide, exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, walk the feet up to the hands, halfway lift here, grab the back of the legs, exhale, stretch. Come up to standing, inhale, arms reach up and exhale, hands come back to the heart. Alrighty, I hope you're feeling brilliant, energized, calm, and ready for the rest of your day. Namaste. I am running so late for my next meeting. Oh my God. But I'm feeling so calm, so ready. Oh my God. Alan, I need that report.